Welcome back to Welding with Dummies. All right, guys, so last week we definitely weren't on our A-game. We only got this one panel in. Um, it's all nice and secure and sanded and down. That's pretty flat and good looking. Uh, this week what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our nice new uh, rocker panel and get this side pretty much closed in. I took this, this is uh, this goes right over here and belts in. It was all rusted up, so what I did is I sandblasted and put some rust reformer on it and then later we're gonna come back and we're gonna prime this whole thing when we're ready to go. But right now, we're gonna start lining this up and welding it in. All right guys, as you can see, we did a bunch of beads and a bunch of uh, tack welding, we beaded it in. So factory, it has spot welds, but our reasoning is, is we're gonna be able to grind this down to pretty much flat. We pretty much got up here, if you can see, our floor is pretty much flat down with just grinding. I don't even have a, the greatest grinding wheel, which we're gonna get after this later on. And we're gonna grind this down again, and then we're gonna spot weld it anyway. And our reasoning is, is just to prevent water from getting into our rocker and creating more rust problems and destroying this truck from within. So we just did a bead. We're gonna grind them down really, really smooth so it really doesn't even look like they're there. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a spot weld. And what we do with a spot weld is we come over with our drill and you just drill a hole down in the metal, but you don't wanna go through the secondary level of metal. And what you do is you come back with your welder and you start in the middle and you just do like a big circle and make a big pool. So it welds the two pieces of metal together and makes it nice. And then you come back and you just weld it down. And we're gonna do that on the bottom as well. Down here, I don't know if you guys can get really close into here, but right here where my finger is, there is a place for where water can come out, but we're gonna spot weld it in anyway. And then later on we'll come in when we're gonna paint the bottom of the truck and do some seam sealer just to make sure that no water's getting in this truck so it's not gonna rust ever again.
right guys, so it is hot as anything in here. We had to stop, we went to our local shake shop, got ourselves a drink. Cool came back, drilled out our spot holes. Up here at least, we put them in. You can see that we did a pretty good job to, uh, welding them in, spot welding. We did it all the way around. We gave a couple over here. We got about five over here and there. We came back, we grinded it down and got them all nice and smooth. You're gonna come down here afterwards and do them under here. It's really tough to say, uh, show on camera, but we're gonna come up right here and talk about something real quick. As you can see, there's a little dip. I don't, sorry about my light, it's dying. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right, but there's a dip right in here, and that kind of lets water down in here if it gets in here, dirt and grime. And underneath, down here, you're not gonna be able to really see it, but we can feel it that right here, there's a little spot and an opening. You're gonna wanna leave that open because it's gonna let the water and the dirt come out of this so it doesn't hold in here and just rot out from the inside. But we got this nice and grinded down pretty good. We're gonna run out, we have run out of time for this week to finish it out. I'm gonna handle that the rest off camera, but we got this rocker nice and in. It's not really going anywhere. And that's gonna be a wrap for today. We'll see you guys next Saturday.